Oh crap, that truck got it. Morning guys. Or oh, afternoon. It's about lunchtime. Sorry if there's wind noise. Out riding the bike. Yes, I remember to bring a drink today. <laughs> Out geocaching. So I've got to go about halfway to the spot, I think. I've got to go all the way to the end of there. Whoa, that is awesome. How cool is that, guys? In the event the wind noise was a bit too strong, what I said was I was going geocaching today. I'm going to go in here. That's actually in a cemetery. So we just bring up the little app and find out where to go. I don't know how well you see this guys. Try and get no reflection. It's gonna be pretty hard. Okay, I'm the blue dot in the middle. I gotta to get to that green thing like northeast of where I am. So I've got to turn right at this roundabout and go that away. Why do they always put them near creeks and rivers? Alright. Looking by the map, it's pretty much in front of me, down in there somewhere. <laughs> oh, GPS, you messed with my head. <laughs> Look, I'm standing on this side, and there's the bank, and that's me, and there's the bank on the other side. I've got to go back over there. I think that's it down there. I don't know if you can see that. There's like a little bottle on my finger jet. I think that's it. So I've got to go back around. <laughs> I'm close. Really close. Come on. Show me where. This one has me stumped, hey. Look. Look at those white lines on the map. That's me trying to find it. Look, I'm the blue dot and I'm standing right beside the green dot. It should be here. But it is not. I haven't searched for like 20 minutes, and I don't know. I did bring my lunch though, so I'm gonna have that and then I'm gonna search again. <laughs> Look at how healthy this is, guys. Carrot sticks and celery sticks, strawberries. We've got some crackers in here and a bit of cheese. Yeah! Peaceful moment. I think I have to give up on this one guys and go to the next one I was going to go see. So as you can see, it's somewhere within this area. I don't know, I've looked everywhere. So, my skills fail. Oh well. Oh, Quantus my oh, engine just fell off. <laughs> oh, it's another Quantus. So sorry guys, no geocaching loot today. Howd. Yeah, sorry. Ah, oh, that is perfect timing for the train guys. I don't know what it's like in your country, but here we're allowed to take bikes on the train. We're not on trains or buses, obviously, but trains are fine. So I'm going two stations up. Get up the hours riding that far away. So I'm about six train stations away from my closest one to my house. I rode quite a distance. <laughs> Read it. Yeah. And through the magic of video editing, I just went six stations in two seconds. <laughs> it's been a nostalgia for you guys. I'm on the path right now that I shot my first YouTube video on the day after I bought the flip cam. So if you go all the way back to the beginning, I think I called it first testing testing or something like that. Then yeah, this is the path. So, well, so from November last year to the mid-April right now. Wow. That's a long time. I remember too, I was so nervous shooting that video and I picked the most out of way place I possibly could that had like nobody. <laughs> but you know, I wasn't used to vlogging yet, obviously. So I was scared to do it. Little heroes. 
Yeah, I was at about this part and I was like, I just want to check to see how greens the greens are. <laughs> oh, what a noob. What a noob. Ah. Memories. Oh shit, Mars, don't run over that. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I had to go na, na, na. Oh. That is most definitely my loser for today. <sighs> Sleepy time. <laughs> I don't want any. <laughs> How can you not want any of me? <sighs> Alright guys. I'll put that there. Menu for tonight. I'm gonna make risotto. I'm gonna make a pea and bacon one, and I'm gonna puree the peas and try and make the risotto go green. So it's gonna, it's gonna be this plate of green. Sound good? I don't even know if I'm in the frame. Yeah, sound good? I reckon. Anyone hungry yet? <laughs> I find that a lot of people are scared to make risotto. Maybe because of the time involved. It's actually very, very easy. It's just, yeah, a basic one. It's just some onion, chicken stock, parmesan, and the arborio rice. That's it. The only thing about it is it's got to stir it a lot. So, yeah. Don't be scared to make the risotto, guys. It's really, really easy. You just need to put 20 minutes aside and to be able to stand at it the whole time. The green is happening. How you like that? And hopefully that absorbs really well and should stay a nice green colour. Go! Whee! <laughs> Almost done. Didn't take that long actually. Yeah, it took about 10 minutes. Um, until the point where I put the puree back in, another five minutes with the puree and probably another three minutes with the peas. When you take it off the heat completely, let it sit for two minutes and it'll thicken up and bam, in your gobulus. And now the part where most chefs cheat, especially if you're in a restaurant because you want that food to taste great, don't you? So what do they do? Bam. They butter that sucker up. If you ask why your food's always so rich when you go out to dinner in a restaurant, it's because right at the end, a lot of dishes, butter is added. Because it brings out the awesomeness. We'll stir that butter through. And we'll add some parmesan, which I've already shaved. Let it sit for two minutes. Serve it up, palms on top. Oh yeah, eat it. If I wasn't lazy, I'd go out and pick some herbs and chop them up and put them on top, but the ladies don't care about garnish. But there you go, guys. It stayed nice and green. Like that. I think that needs a photo. Let's go get the camera. I'll put this on Facebook. I'm running or not? Better call out. Tina! Bye bye. Talk about eat and run. It's a beautiful colour. You like the neon green? Yeah, I do. I'm gonna go tell these women what for. They always exclude me from TV watching. Not tonight. Do I get to come and watch TV tonight, or am I in the exclusion zone still? No, we're waiting for you! I'm out here with the, with the biohazard suit on. <laughs> no entry. Ready? No entry. Are you ready? You assholes. <laughs> Yeah, I'm the one who serves you your food. <laughs> yeah, that's right. He's with your For that brief 30 seconds you see me a day, after you hear the ding, ding. you come in, the grab, dick and then run off. Did you say I'm the dick boy? Ding. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what are we watching? 
Castle? Okay. Look at my belt, guys. It's like almost to the second notch, and here's something. I'm not being dirty, I swear. Because my belt slips now because my pants are so big, I have to use a safety pin to hold it on. How ridiculous is that? So we just watched some TV with the family. We caught up on some Castle and Justified. Oh, I just had a pinch in my shoulder. What the hell? Um, yeah. I'm so knackered from that bike ride today. Oh, looks like he's talking about it. Ooh. So I should have had a nap when I got home. But I powered on and I made a nice dinner and I watched some TV. And that's about it. Um, by the time you see this video, the announcement for the winners of the giveaway should already be up. But in, in the off chance that I upload the winners video after this one, look for the winners video. <laughs> um, and yeah, I just say thank you to everyone that participated. Uh, pretty awesome and yeah you guys left lots of comments lots of supporting ones and thank you for the well wishes on passing day 100 anyway what are you doing changing the dogs over you do that let her unpack tomorrow yeah, but, but. <sighs> yeah, you probably sure won't have been in this house for a month <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to go to bed, guys. You have a good night or morning or whatever. Bye. Can I say bye?